The HSS Valiant emerged from hyperspace in a cloud of glowing particles, its worn silhouette revealed in the light of the nearby stars. The ship was a reliquary of past battles, every scar on its corroded metal carcass telling of heroic confrontations and unwavering resistance. Approaching the headquarters of the Galactic Council, a monumental space station glowing with opulence, the Valiant stood out as a symbol of human resilience amidst the alien splendor. Inside the ship, Captain John Walker watched the station approach through the main viewport on the command bridge. His blue eyes, hardened by years of combat, reflected a quiet determination. Beside him, the crew, made up of men and women whose faces were marked by age and experience, shared the same sentiment. Walker turned to his first officer, Lieutenant Sarah Thompson, whose deft hands adjusted the controls with precision. Prepare for docking, Lieutenant, Walker said, his voice deep and calm. Let's show them we still have a role to play in this galaxy. Thompson nodded and began coordinating the approach. The ship shook slightly as the engines adjusted the final trajectory. Meanwhile, alien delegates gathered on the station's landing pads, watching the Valiant's arrival with critical eyes. Their exotic, ornate costumes contrasted sharply with the practical, worn-out uniforms of the human crew. As the Valiant's hatch opened, a collective sigh of disdain escaped the alien's lips. Whispers and muffled laughter could be heard, accompanied by scathing comments. Look at that, muttered a delegate with greenish skin and multifaceted eyes. It looks like it came from a junkyard. Another, with waving tentacles and an ironic twinkle in his eye, added, Do these people think an old tin can like that can do any good? Walker led his team down the ramp with firm steps. The captain was a tall, stocky man with close-cropped gray hair and a countenance that exuded authority. He ignored the disparaging remarks and kept his eyes forward. Next to him, Thompson walked with the same determination, followed by the rest of the crew, each with the same quiet dignity. As they approached the delegates, an officer of the council, a tall slender man with bluish skin and piercing eyes, stepped forward. He greeted them with a stiff nod. Captain Walker, welcome to the headquarters of the Galactic Council, he said, his voice tinged with condescension. I hope your ship has endured the voyage. Walker kept his posture upright and replied with a slight smile, devoid of humor. The Valiant may not be the newest ship, but it has always done its duty. We're ready to discuss the reason for our summons. The officer nodded and led them into the station, through wide, bright corridors decorated with alien artwork that accentuated the disparity between the opulence of the Council and the utilitarian simplicity of the humans. As they walked, Walker could feel the curious and scornful looks that followed them, but he remained unperturbed. His crew followed suit, their resolute expressions reflecting years of training and camaraderie. Finally, they reached the large council chamber, where a huge circular table took center stage, surrounded by delegates from every species in the galaxy. Walker and his team took their seats, ready to hear what the galactic leaders had to say. The tension in the air was palpable, but Walker knew that whatever lay ahead, he and his crew were prepared to meet any challenge. The large meeting room of the Galactic Council was filled with a variety of alien beings, each with their own unique appearance and peculiarities. The atmosphere was grand, with high ceilings adorned with intricate stained glass windows that filtered the light in dazzling colors. In the center of the room, a huge circular table made of a translucent and shiny material brought together the delegates from all parts of the galaxy. Captain John Walker and his crew took their seats, feeling the weight of the skeptical and dismissive stares of those present. Jarek, the head of the Galactic Council, an imposing being with scaly skin and golden eyes, rose from his central seat. His presence radiated authority and power. He looked around the table, his penetrating gaze silencing any remaining murmurs in the room. Delegates of the Galactic Council, Jarek began, his voice echoing through the room, we are gathered here today to discuss a threat that could mean the end of us all. Karin, the Torak warlord, has come into possession of an ancient superweapon capable of destroying entire star systems. Jarek's announcement was met with a wave of murmurs and expressions of shock. The already tense atmosphere seemed electrified by the growing concern of the delegates. Walker watched the reactions around him, realizing the gravity of what was being revealed. The superweapon was a legend among many, a relic from a forgotten time that possessed unimaginable power. Impossible, cried a delegate with blue skin and sensitive antennae. A weapon of this caliber should not exist. 
Jarek raised his hand and asked for silence. Unfortunately, my fellow delegates, this weapon is very real and in the hands of one of the most ruthless warriors in the galaxy. Karen will not hesitate to use it to impose his will and conquer all in his path. The murmurs stopped, replaced by obvious tension. The delegates began to exchange anxious glances, realizing the magnitude of the danger they faced. Jarek continued, We must act quickly to neutralize this threat before he uses it. However, our own resources are limited and our defenses are compromised. Therefore, despite some reservations, we propose to enlist the aid of Captain Walker and his crew. Walker felt the eyes turn to him, some with suspicion, others with hope. He slowly stood and bowed to Jarek before speaking. Ladies and gentlemen of the Council, we understand the gravity of the situation. We at Valiant have faced much adversity over the years, and we are prepared for another mission. If this superweapon is a threat to the galaxy, we will do everything in our power to neutralize it. A delegate with multifaceted eyes and an elaborate suit stood up and crossed his arms over his chest. Captain Walker, your ship and crew are respectable, but this is a challenge like no other. How can we trust you with limited resources to succeed where so many others have failed? Walker kept his gaze fixed on the delegate. I'm not asking you to trust us blindly. I'm only asking you to consider our track record. Valiant may be old, but every battle we win is a testament to our skill and determination. Do not underestimate the power of experience and the will to survive. Jarek, watching the interaction, intervened once more. This is not an easy decision, but necessity demands that we take desperate measures. Captain Walker, we entrust you and your crew with this mission. The safety of the galaxy may depend on your success. Walker nodded, feeling the weight of the responsibility on his shoulders. He sat back down while the delegates continued to discuss details and strategies. Amid the hubbub, Walker exchanged glances with his crew, each of them understanding the seriousness of the mission they were about to undertake. The determination in their eyes was clear. Failure was not an option. Aboard the HSS Valiant, Captain John Walker gathered his crew in the conference room. A modest space with a central table and holograms of star charts projected on the walls. The tension in the air was palpable as everyone settled in feeling the weight of the mission at hand. Walker looked at each of the familiar faces around him, men and women who had faced countless challenges at his side. People, we have a crucial mission ahead of us, Walker began, his firm, deep voice cutting through the silence. Karan possesses a superweapon capable of destroying entire star systems. Our task is simple in concept, but complex in execution. Locate, infiltrate, and neutralize the threat before it can be used. The first officer, Lieutenant Sarah Thompson, adjusted a central hologram to show a detailed representation of the Karin base. She began to explain the attack plans, highlighting infiltration points and possible enemy defenses. According to our data, the Karan have established their base on a fortified asteroid, Thompson said. We must navigate through treacherous asteroid fields before approaching the base. Once there, the infiltration team will be responsible for disabling the defenses and securing the superweapon. Chief Engineer Samuel Sam Ramirez, known for his genius in keeping Valiant running against all odds, raised his hand. Captain, we know Valiant is not young. If we're going to get through these asteroid fields, we're going to have to make adjustments to the shields and the engines. The good news is that I'm working on some enhancements that may increase our resistance. Walker nodded, appreciating Ramirez's initiative. Excellent, Sam. Do whatever it takes to keep the ship in one piece. We can't afford to fail. Veteran pilot Helena Lena Brooks, a woman of sharp eyes and quick reflexes, leaned forward. Captain, my team and I are ready to maneuver through these asteroids, but we're going to need accurate, up-to-date information about the area. I suggest we use our reconnaissance drones to map the area before we go in. Thompson added to the plan, adjusting the hologram to include the reconnaissance routes. Good idea, Lena. We need every advantage we can get. As the discussion continued, the crew members offered suggestions, discussed battle tactics, and emphasized the importance of coordination. The camaraderie between them, built over years of service together, was evident. Confidence in Walker's leadership and in the abilities of each crew member was unwavering. After the meeting, the crew dispersed to prepare the ship. In the hangar, the mechanics were hard at work adjusting the engines and bolstering the shields, while the weapons officers checked and recalibrated the weapons. Preparations were in full swing, 
everyone playing their part with precision. As the Valiant pulled away, the command bridge was silent, except for the sound of controls being adjusted and monitors flashing. Walker watched the monitors, his mind focused on the mission, but he couldn't help but remember past battles. Remember that time on Vega Prime? Ramirez commented with a nostalgic smile. We didn't think we'd make it out alive. Lena laughed, her eyes shining with the memory. And when we faced those pirates on Rigel, that was a good one. Walker, you almost lost an arm. Walker smiled, remembering every moment of danger and triumph. Those moments shaped us, made us stronger. And it is that strength that we will bring to this mission. Each of you is indispensable, and I have every confidence in your abilities. The conversation continued as stories were shared and laughter echoed across the bridge. The simple act of remembering their past victories strengthened the collective resolve. Mutual trust was evident, and the Valiant seemed to take on a new life as it embarked on another crucial mission. As the ship moved away from the Council's headquarters and into deep space, Walker felt a renewed sense of purpose. He looked to his crew, knowing that together they could face any adversity. The HSS Valiant headed for the asteroid field, a vast region of space filled with giant rocks that floated and spun in unpredictable patterns. On the command bridge, the tension was palpable as the crew prepared to face one of the most dangerous challenges of their mission. The soft hum of the computers and the whir of the engines filled the air, creating a technological symphony that accompanied the ship's every move. Position of the asteroids, Lieutenant Thompson? Walker asked, his eyes glued to the main display. Sarah Thompson, standing next to the captain, adjusted the holographic controls that projected a three-dimensional map of the asteroid field. We have a potential route here, Captain, but it's narrow and will require precise maneuvering. Some of these asteroids are unstable and could change position at any time. Understood, Walker replied with a calm that inspired confidence in the crew. Lena, prepare to maneuver. Ramirez, keep the shields up and the engines ready for any adjustments. Helena Lena Brooks, the veteran pilot, nodded decisively. Leave it to me, Captain. Let's show these asteroids what the Valiant can do. The Valiant entered the asteroid field, and immediately Lena began executing precise maneuvers, steering the ship away from rocks that came dangerously close. The side thrusters hummed as the ship quickly changed direction, avoiding collisions by the narrowest of margins. Each move was precisely calculated, a testament to the pilot's exceptional skill. Asteroid in two hours, Thompson warned, looking at the holographic map. You see, Captain, Lena replied, deftly turning the ship to the left, avoiding the asteroid by a few meters. We're safe, for now. In the hangar, the engineers were on high alert, monitoring the ship's vital systems. Ramirez was in the hangar command center. His eyes scanned the monitors as he adjusted the shield controls. Shields are holding, Captain. We're losing power in the secondary thrusters, but we'll make it. Ramirez's voice carried the calm of years of experience. Suddenly, one of the smaller asteroids shattered, sending fragments in all directions. The crew held their breath as Lena performed a series of evasive maneuvers, dodging the debris with surprising agility. Well done, Lena, Walker praised. Thompson, is there another route we can take to avoid these unstable areas? Thompson checked the map again. There is an alternative route, but it's longer and passes close to a group of larger asteroids. We'd need even more accurate navigation. Walker considered the possibility for a moment. Let's keep going. Lena, keep going. If things get worse, we'll change course. As they moved forward, the asteroid field became denser and the maneuvers more difficult. Lena was completely focused, her hands moving quickly over the controls, while Thompson constantly updated them on the position of the asteroids. The crew felt the pressure, but mutual trust and Walker's calm leadership kept everyone focused. The stabilizers are working at full capacity, Ramirez reported. If we need an extra boost, we're ready. Walker nodded. Excellent. Everyone stay alert. We can't afford any mistakes. The ship continued to dodge obstacles, each move a testament to the skill and cohesion of the crew. At a particularly tense moment, a huge asteroid suddenly appeared in the Valiant's path. Asteroid ahead, Thompson yelled. Lena, divert now, Walker ordered. With quick reflexes, Lena turned the ship sharply to the right, the engines roaring in protest. The Valiant scraped past the asteroid, the proximity causing the ship's structure to shake. The crew held their breath as they watched the massive rock disappear from the main viewer. That was close, Lena commented, breathing a sigh of relief. 
but we're okay. Walker looked at his team, a proud smile on his face. Good work, everyone. Stay focused. We're almost at the end of the field. Finally, after a final series of complex maneuvers, the Valiant emerged on the other side of the asteroid field. The tension on the bridge eased, replaced by a sense of accomplishment and relief. Walker stood up, his eyes scanning the room. We've cleared another hurdle. Keep it up and we'll win this mission together. The crew responded with smiles and murmurs of approval, their faith in Walker's leadership renewed. The Valiant moved forward, ready to face the next challenges with the same determination and skill that had guided them so far. The HSS Valiant advanced through the darkness of space, sensors on high alert, as the crew prepared for the imminent confrontation with the Torak forces. The tense silence on the command bridge was broken only by the soft hum of equipment and the controlled breathing of the crew. Walker, standing at the helm, kept his eyes glued to the main display. Captain, we've detected several Torak ships approaching rapidly, Thompson reported, his fingers flying over the holographic controls. They're in attack formation. Walker nodded, his expression unwavering. Everyone to battle stations, shields at full power, weapons charged. In the hangar, Ramirez supervised his team as they boosted the shields and adjusted the weapon systems. Come on, guys, we have to be ready for anything. We know what's at stake. Lena, in the control room, adjusted the controls with precision. Captain, I'm ready for evasive action. Let's show these Torax what we're made of. The red alert lights flashed, filling the room with an urgency the crew knew well. The Valiant positioned itself for battle, engines roaring in preparation for what was to come. On the main viewer, Torax ships emerged from hyperspace, their menacing silhouettes illuminated by the distant stars. Sure, fire at will, Walker ordered, his voice firm and authoritative. The battle began with a deafening roar. Laser shots pierced space, tracing bright lines as the enemy ships approached. Explosions lit up the darkness, creating a spectacle of light and destruction. The Valiant responded with heavy fire, its weapons firing with deadly precision. Target hit, shouted one of the gunners, his voice full of emotion. One of the enemy ships has been destroyed. Good work, Walker replied, not taking his eyes off the scope. Keep up the pressure. Don't let them outflank us. The ship shook violently as enemy fire hit its shields. Inside the hangar, Ramirez frantically adjusted controls, redistributing power to compensate for the damage. Shields at 70%, Captain. We're holding, but we can't hold for long. Roger that, Sam. Lena, we need more evasive maneuvers. Lena nodded, her eyes shining with determination. Hang on, guys. Let's make those Torax work to catch us. She led the Valiant through a series of risky maneuvers, dodging enemy fire with surprising agility. The ship twisted and turned, each move calculated to avoid further damage while keeping the enemy in her sights. Enemy at six o'clock, Thompson warned. I see it, Lena replied, adjusting the controls to avoid the impending attack. The Valiant's shots hit another Torax ship, causing an explosion that lit up the surrounding space but the enemies kept coming, unrelenting in their determination. Captain, we're taking heavy damage, Ramirez shouted. We need a strategy. Walker remained calm, quickly assessing the situation. Concentrate your fire on the command ships. If we destabilize their leadership, the rest will fall. The crew obeyed, focusing on the enemy command ships. The Valiant's laser fire was relentless, penetrating the enemy shields and causing significant damage. One of the command ships exploded, causing momentary chaos among the Torak forces. We're going to make it, Thompson shouted. The smaller ships are falling back. But the victory came at a cost. The Valiant was covered in battle scars and several critical systems were damaged. In the hangar, Ramirez and his team worked tirelessly to keep the ship operational, their expressions hardened by tension and the need to persevere. Captain, we're taking casualties, but most major systems are still functioning, Ramirez reported his voice tired but determined. Walker took a deep breath, feeling the weight of responsibility on his shoulders. Good work, guys. Keep up the pressure. Let's get this done. Finally, after one last combined effort, the Valiant managed to repel the remaining Torak forces. The battlefield was silent again, except for the distant echoes of the final explosions. The crew relaxed, though exhaustion was evident on every face. Walker looked at his comrades, seeing the scars of battle on each of them. You were incredible. Take a moment to catch your breath, but remember, we still have a mission to complete. The crew nodded, feeling a renewed sense of purpose. 
The battle had left its mark, but it had also strengthened their cohesion and mutual trust. Walker knew that despite the damage, the Valiant and her crew were more determined than ever to complete the mission and protect the galaxy. The HSS Valiant stealthily approached the base of Karan, a fortified asteroid floating in the depths of uncharted space. The ship's lights were off to avoid detection, and the tension on the command bridge was almost palpable. On the main viewer, the base emerged from the shadows, its massive armed structures projecting an aura of imminent threat. We're almost within enemy sensor range, Captain, Lieutenant Sarah Thompson reported, her eyes glued to the monitors. We have to be extremely careful from now on, Walker nodded and turned to his crew. This is the most important part of our mission. We need to disable the base's defenses and secure the superweapon before they have a chance to use it. We'll split into teams and follow the plan to the letter. He gestured to the central hologram, which showed a detailed map of the base. Lena, you will pilot the ship to a safe position while we infiltrate. Sam, you'll lead the engineering team to disable the defense systems. Thompson, you'll stay on the bridge to coordinate communications and monitor our progress. Ramirez, with his serious and determined expression, nodded. Understood, Captain. My team and I will be ready for anything. Lena adjusted the controls, her sharp eyes fixed on the display. Don't worry, I'll keep the Valiant out of sight and ready for a quick retreat if necessary. Walker divided the rest of the crew into smaller teams, each with a specific task. The trust and coordination between them was evident, the fruit of years of training and shared battles. Each member knew exactly what to do and had complete confidence in the abilities of the others. Infiltration team with me, Walker ordered, picking up his gear. Let's get in through the least fortified section and move quickly. We have to be quiet and effective. They moved purposefully through the corridors of the Valiant, the sound of their boots echoing softly off the metal. They reached the teleportation room where the engineers were already setting the coordinates for the insertion. Coordinates set, Captain, one of the engineers said, his fingers flying over the controls. Walker gestured for his team to position themselves on the platform. Remember, people, this is our chance to stop Koran from destroying entire star systems. We can't fail. The infiltration team disappeared in a beam of light and rematerialized inside the enemy base. The environment was dark and cold, with wide, silent corridors that seemed to go on forever. Walker led the group, moving cautiously, his weapons ready for any encounter. All hands on deck, Walker whispered into the communicator. Sam, what's your status? Ramirez's voice came from the other end of the line, calm and focused. We're on our way to the defense systems. No sign of resistance so far. We're sticking to the plan. They made their way through the corridors, encountering occasional resistance in the form of Torak patrols. Each encounter was swift and deadly, with Walker's team quietly eliminating the enemies and moving on. Their coordination and communication was impeccable, every move calculated and executed with precision. Thompson, on the bridge of the Valiant, monitored each team's progress. Engineering team, we're picking up fluctuations in the defense systems. Stay on it. Infiltration team, you're near the superweapons control room. Proceed with caution. Walker and his team approached the control room, their steps steady and quiet. They encountered one last patrol of Torak guards, who engaged in a quick and decisive fight. Area clear, one of the team members reported, panting but determined. Walker gestured for them to continue, his focus unwavering. They reached the entrance to the control room and prepared for the final confrontation. This is our chance. Let's disable this superweapon and ensure the safety of the galaxy. They entered the control room, weapons in hand, ready to meet any resistance they might encounter. Each member of the team was aware of the importance of their role, and their confidence in each other's abilities was palpable. Tension was high, but the determination to complete the mission and protect the galaxy drove them forward. The infiltration team, led by Walker, moved cautiously through the superweapons control room. The atmosphere was cold and gloomy, with intermittent flashing lights and the distant sound of machinery in operation. The Torak guards, alerted by the intruder's presence, emerged from the shadows ready to defend their base with fanatical fervor. Walker raised his hand, signaling his team to disperse and prepare for battle. Attention, people. Move with precision and efficiency. There is no room for error now. The first guards attacked with ferocity, and Walker's team responded with skill and determination. The hand-to-hand -hand combat was brutal, 
each blow and parry reverberating through the metallic environment. Walker, with his vast experience, attacked one of the guards with a combination of strength and technique, quickly taking him down. Ramirez, using a makeshift device, disarmed and subdued a Torak, his expression focused and determined. One down. Come on, guys, we've got work to do. Thompson gave constant updates on the communicator. We've spotted more guards approaching your position. Prepare for reinforcements, Walker replied as he took out another guard. Roger that, Thompson. Keep watching and keep us informed. The fight continued, intense and relentless. Lena, normally the Valiant's pilot, showed off her combat skills, taking out enemies with deadly precision. I'm not only useful on the ship, Captain, she said with a determined smile. Eventually, the team managed to reduce the enemy resistance, but not without a cost. Some members were injured, with visible cuts and bruises, but the determination in everyone's eyes remained unwavering. Sam, we need to deactivate this superweapon now, Walker ordered, looking at the complex systems that controlled the weapon. Ramirez nodded and moved quickly to the control panel. He began to work the circuits, his face illuminated by the bluish light of the monitors. I'll need a minute to shut down the main systems. Cover. Walker and the rest of the team formed a defensive perimeter around Ramirez, ready to repel any new wave of guards. Time seemed to drag on as Sam worked, each second adding to the tension. Suddenly an alarm sounded and the monitors began flashing red. They're trying to remotely activate the weapon, Ramirez yelled, accelerating his efforts. Walker pressed his communicator. Thompson, status? The base's defenses are getting stronger. We have to disable it now or we'll be overwhelmed. With a last effort, Ramirez managed to cut the main circuits and the monitors returned to blue. The alarm went silent and the energy in the room seemed to diminish. We did it, Ramirez shouted, a smile of relief on his face. Walker nodded, but his expression was still serious. Well done, but we're not done yet. We have to make sure the superweapon is destroyed so they can't use it again. They placed explosives in the superweapon's critical components, each move made with precision and care. As they set the timers, Walker kept an eye on the entrance, waiting for any sign of new enemies. When all the charges were armed, Walker signaled for his team to retreat. Let's get out of here. Thompson, we're pulling out. Prepare the ship for an emergency teleport. The team retreated through the corridors, encountering small pockets of resistance along the way. They reached the extraction point and activated their communicators. This is the infiltration team. We're ready to teleport, Walker said. Roger, Captain. Initiating teleportation now, Thompson replied. In a flash of light, the team was beamed back to the Valiant, reappearing in the ship's hangar. The familiar, comforting sounds of the Valiant surrounded them, bringing a brief moment of relief. Walker looked at his team, their faces battle-scarred but still determined. Well done, everyone! Karen has been captured and the superweapon destroyed. We suffered casualties, but we did what was necessary. Ramirez, holding a wound on his arm, smiled wearily. Another victory for the Valiant Captain. Walker nodded, knowing that though they had won, the scars of battle would remain with them. But the mission was accomplished and the galaxy was safe once again. The HSS Valiant returned to the Galactic Council headquarters, its engines emitting a steady glow as the ship approached the monumental space station. The crew, though exhausted and scarred from the recent battles, felt a sense of accomplishment. A reception awaited in the station's hangar, with delegates and officers ready to greet the heroes. As Walker and his team disembarked, they were greeted with applause and cheers. Jarek, the leader of the Council, approached them with a satisfied smile on his scaly face. Captain Walker, once again you and your crew have proven indispensable to the security of the galaxy. Jarek said, his voice echoing through the hangar. The capture of Karen and the destruction of the superweapon are feats that will be remembered for generations. Walker, always modest, replied with a nod. We did what had to be done, sir. My crew deserves all the credit. The delegates applauded again, their expressions ranging from gratitude to genuine respect. The battle scars of the Valiant team were visible in the crowd, but their eyes were bright with the satisfaction of a job well done. The celebration was abruptly interrupted by a shrill alarm that echoed throughout the station. Lights flashed on alert, and an automated voice announced an emergency. The delegates exchanged anxious glances, and Jarek immediately called for silence. What's going on? Jarek asked, turning to a nearby communications officer. The officer, with a grave expression on his face, 
quickly consulted a consul. Sir, we've received reports of an attack on Axiom Prime. The enemy forces are led by the Overseer, the mastermind behind Operation Exodus. The name brought an immediate and heavy silence to the room. The Overseer was known for his strategic mind and ruthless cruelty, making him a formidable threat. Walker felt the weight of the new information and immediately understood the gravity of the situation. Axiom Prime is one of our most important colonies, the officer continued. If it falls, we will lose a crucial position and countless lives will be at risk. Jarek looked at Walker, his expression grave and desperate. Captain Walker, we need your help again. The Council has no choice but to ask you and your crew to face this new threat. Walker took a deep breath, feeling the fatigue in his bones, but also the urgency to act. He looked at his team and saw the same determination in their eyes. They had faced immense challenges before and were ready to do so again. We'll need a moment to refuel and repair the Valiant, Walker finally said, but we'll be ready to leave as soon as possible. The safety of the galaxy depends on it. Jarek nodded, relieved. Thank you, Captain. We know the sacrifice is great, but we have no choice. We will do all we can to support you and your crew. As the Valiant crew prepared for another mission, Walker called Ramirez and Thompson to discuss the preparations. In the station's hangar, they went to work, focused and determined. Sam, we need to make sure all of Valiant's systems are operational, Walker said, looking at his chief engineer. We can't afford any failures this time, Ramirez replied with a determined smile, despite his visible fatigue. That's all right, Captain. We'll do the impossible if we have to. Thompson was at Walker's side, analyzing reports and coordinating repairs. We need everyone ready and focused. The Overseer is a formidable threat, but with Valiant and our crew, we have a chance. Walker nodded, feeling the responsibility for every life on Axiom Prime. I know we're all tired, but this is our fight. We will protect the galaxy as we always have. The crew responded with a chorus of nods and immediately went back to work. The hangar filled with the sound of tools and commands, a testament to the dedication of every member of the team. As they prepared to face the new threat, Walker watched his crew with a deep sense of pride. They were more than a team. They were a family, united by duty and a determination to protect the galaxy, no matter the cost. FHSS Valiant emerged from hyperspace in orbit around Axiom Prime, leading a diverse fleet of ships from the United Coalition. The planet below showed signs of destruction, with columns of smoke rising from bombed-out cities. On the main screen, the Overseer's flagship, a menacing metallic monstrosity, dominated the space. We're receiving distress signals from several colonies on Axiom Prime, Captain, Thompson reported, his voice tense. The planet's defenses are nearly destroyed. Walker nodded, his eyes fixed on the enemy ahead. Inform all coalition ships. We're going to launch the attack. We need to divert the attention of the colonial supervisor and concentrate our fire on him. The order was quickly transmitted, and the coalition fleet moved forward. The enemy Torak ships, a relentless horde, reacted violently, and a brutal battle began. Laser fire and missiles crisscrossed space, creating a chaos of light and destruction. The Valiant, at the center of the action, fired all its weapons moving with agility, despite the damage it had taken. We're surrounded, Captain, Lena yelled, her hands flying over the controls as she maneuvered the ship to avoid enemy attacks. Hold formation, Walker ordered. Sam, how are the shields? Ramirez in the hangar was surrounded by sparks and smoke as his team fought to keep the systems working. Shields at 50%, Captain. We're doing our best, but we need time. Walker knew time was a luxury they didn't have. The enemy was numerous and relentless, and every second counted. Lena, we need to get close to the Overseer's flagship. Let's do it up close. Lena looked at Walker in surprise. Captain, are you suggesting... Walker nodded, the decision reflected in his determined eyes. Let's collide with the supervisor's ship. This is our chance to open a breach for the assault team. The crew reacted with a mixture of shock and determination. Thompson, who knew the captain well, just nodded and prepared to coordinate the final assault. All systems ready for impact, Captain. May luck be with us. The Valiant advanced through the crossfire, its weapons firing incessantly. The Torak ships tried to block it, but the Coalition fleet cleared the way, supporting the Valiant's suicidal maneuver. 
Every shot, every explosion was a note in the symphony of destruction that filled the room. Captain, we're on a collision course, Lena reported, her voice firm despite the desperate situation. Everyone to their stations. Hang on, Walker shouted as the Valiant rapidly approached the overseer's ship. The impact was devastating. The Valiant collided with the enemy ship, opening a breach in the massive structure. Alarms sounded and the entire ship shook from the force of the impact. The assault team, already prepared, moved quickly to the breach. Let's go! Let's go! Walker ordered, leading the team into the overseer's ship. Inside the enemy ship, the corridors were a maze of metal and flashing lights. Torak guards appeared, but the valiant assault team, trained and determined, advanced with deadly precision. The hand-to-hand -hand combat was fierce, but the need to complete the mission drove their every move. Walker, we need to get to the bridge, Ramirez yelled as he disarmed a guard with a precise punch. We're almost there, Walker replied, leading his team through the corridors. They finally reached the bridge, where the overseer was waiting for them. A tall, imposing being with cold, calculating eyes, he raised a hand to command his remaining guards. You are brave, but courage will not save you, the overseer said, his icy voice echoing through the room. Courage and determination always prevail. Walker replied, leading his team forward. The battle that followed was fierce. Walker and the Overseer fought a desperate duel while his team dealt with the remaining guards. Walker's skill and experience helped him defeat the Overseer, but not without cost. Injuries and exhaustion were showing on all sides. With the Overseer defeated, the enemy ship began to crumble out of control. Walker looked at his team, their faces sweaty and bloodied but victorious. We did it, he said with a weary smile. Now let's get out of here. The team left quickly, heading back to the Valiant, which was badly damaged but still operational. The Coalition ships, seeing the collapse of the Overseer's flagship, renewed their efforts and finally defeated the Torak forces. The Valiant, though battle-scarred, stood firm. The mission was accomplished, and once again the galaxy owed its safety to the courage and determination of Walker and his crew. Upon their return to the Galactic Council, Walker and his team were hailed as heroes. Acclaimed and celebrated, their exploits would be remembered for generations to come. But Walker, watching the ceremony with a faraway look in his eyes, knew that the peace was only temporary. The fight for freedom was never over, and as long as there were threats, there would be a need for heroes to face them. He looked at his team, proud but aware of the sacrifice they had made. They had secured a fragile peace, but they were ready for any future challenge. The galaxy was safe for now, thanks to the courage and determination of those who would never give up.